Hey, Alan here. And uh, I don't know if you can see outside behind me uh, or if I pan over in this direction. But as we speak, it's almost noon on May 19. It's 10 minutes to noon. And that puts us about a week and a day away from Memorial Day. Memorial Day, where I grew up in New Jersey, was the traditional beginning of summer. I know that summer begins on June 20th, but in New Jersey, at least, summer weather would begin at the end of May. And I can remember spending several weekends as a young kid. Uh, my parents would take me down to Wildwood and Atlantic City, and we'd do a long weekend. And um, it, I would go in the water, and there were days where the air temperature was up in low to mid-90s. And uh, right now, it's a week and a day away from Memorial Day. I'm in Anaconda, Montana. It's midday, and it's snowing heavily. Uh, I'm going to cut away to some footage for you in a moment uh, that I took early this morning and uh, let you enjoy that. Okay, I'm back. And uh, isn't that something? I mean, it accumulated this morning. Right now, at least at the moment, I don't see it accumulating. Uh, it's just a little bit above freezing. I did get over to the hot springs earlier today and took advantage of a break in the weather. These are showers rolling through. This is, you know, when it was clear out, and, and there's some photos in the uh, post that show the building cumulonimbus clouds. These are thunderheads that are building. It's typical... Uh, I guess you'd call it a, an early summer pattern, except for the fact that it's cold enough to snow. And it almost reminds me of the Twilight Zone episode where uh, the person was in the episode, and I think I've got the direction straight, where it was getting um, hotter and hotter and hotter, which is what's happening in the southern United States. But then at the end of the episode, they wake up and it's getting colder and colder and colder. And at, in the Twilight Zone episode, the hotter and hotter and hotter was because Earth had broken out of its orbit and was getting closer and closer to the sun. And then they wake up and the reality is Earth had broken out of its orbit and was getting further and further from the sun. Uh, that's not happening here because obviously as we get cold and have this ridiculous heavy snow in the middle of the day on May 19th, I know there are people in the southern United States from Texas across to Florida that are experiencing record heat. Uh, temperatures in the mid-90s, high 90s, and low to mid-100s uh, with high humidity, which, of course, AccuWeather gets all excited and says the real fuel index is 115 degrees. Well, yeah, except for the fact that um, you really should stick to the air temperature and just say, oh, and it's humid, and oh, that's an un healthy combination of heat and humidity because your body can't sweat fast enough in order to shed the heat. Here, uh, I'm about to go outside and uh, I'm going to put on long pants, something I don't even wear in the winter half the time. And uh, frankly, this is more snow. This is heavier snow here than I saw all winter in the valley. And it's interesting seeing the snow line come down the mountain as we head into late May. The forecast for the entire week is for intermittent snow, rain, temperatures in the 40s during the day and 20s to low 30s at night. It's getting a little late for sub-freezing temperatures here. I mean, May 19 in southwest Montana, I, I know it's a cold part of the country, but this is ridiculous. Anyway, um, there's lots of RV sites uh, where you can camp in this part of the country. And I'm going to put a couple of links in the post where you can um, uh, where you can see uh, sites that that will help you to find a good RV site. Everything from full hookups where I am over to um, uh, dry camping opportunities. And I've been up at uh, 
Georgetown Lake. I'm going to put a post together on kayaking because I actually got my first day of kayaking in. The water was in the 30s <laughs> uh, and the air was only in the low 50s. So uh, it's it's been a very, very chilly spring. Kind of crazy. Uh, so I'll have a couple links in the post. The post is going to be at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash May 19 snow. All right, May 1-9 snow. I'm also working on a post that will talk about the frame flex issue that's being uh, brought up by a lot of larger fifth wheel owners. And uh, we'll talk about that in my next post. And then I've got some other interesting stuff for you. I've got something on uh, what they call health mines up here, and they might be anything but. Uh, and I'll share that with you, uh, along with some other travels that I'm planning on across Montana before I finally pack up and leave southwest Montana and head south certainly not to lower elevations. Uh, in fact, I'll be at a higher elevation, probably in Utah, in the uh, coming few months. So there's more coming. Anyway, Alan here, rvcrossamerica.net. And this one's going to be at forward slash May 19, May 19, snow. Thanks, and you take care.